Welcome everybody back to Classic Cricket Matches. Today I have the full highlight of a very very special but yet very rarely talked about game between India and Pakistan. This was a special one-off ODI match held between Pakistan and India uh, to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Indian Cricket Board and was thus named the BCCI Platinum Jubilee match. Now before we see the game, it's important to know the run-up to this game, which was very, very uh, big. Uh, Pakistan and India took each other on after a long time in the famous 2003 uh, World Cup, uh, which is termed the Battle of the Century, uh, where India prevailed uh, in a very uh, thrilling match. And after that, India made a historic tour to Pakistan, where they ended up winning the three test series in the five one-day series. So India was on a huge high uh, for two years straight, and, but then followed three uh, major victories by Pakistan in three high-profile encounters, uh, namely the 2004 Asia Cup, the uh, 2004 Amstel even uh, tri-series between Australia, India and Pakistan, and then there was the 2004 ICC Champions Trophy where Pakistan beat India for the first time ever in any uh, ICC tournament. Following all these seesaw encounters, now we had a very big occasion match between the two sides, uh, which took place in Kolkata and Eden Grounds in front of a full sellout crowd. So I hope you enjoy the full highlights, but before we start the game, I would like to ask you to please press that like and subscribe button below as it would really help this channel. Anyways, please enjoy. Perfect conditions, fantastic day. Hey, and it's probably going to be chock a block here, so the cricket's going to be well. And it should be well because we've got a really good looking cricket pitch. I'm on the on a length roughly where the seamers would look to pitch the ball. We've got tiny little hairline cracks which shouldn't have any effect because they're nice and solid on the sides. Very little grass, I don't see too much lateral movement, except that the new ball, of course, might just swing a little bit and will bounce a little bit. Nice and firm, should be bounced for the new ball. Old ball will be a bit tougher to bowl with. No, it's with uh, the home captain. Head is the call from Inzamamul Haq. And it has come down as tail. So India have won the toss. Saurav, you have won the toss. What have you decided? We'll have a bat. Uh, you obviously feel that it is an advantage batting first. Well, yeah, it's, it's how you play the 100 overs. That's going to matter. I don't think it's going to make a big difference batting first or batting second. It's how both sides play the 100 overs. Looking at the Indian team, they've gone in with three seamers, one spinner, and Sachin Tendul and Sehwag will be opening the innings. I think that's a good move. I think uh, Saurav Ganguly is better off coming at a number three. He's coming back into the team after an injury, so I think this is the right order. I think it's perfectly fine. They need a good start from those two master blasters at the top. As far as Pakistan is concerned, Yunus Khan will be opening the innings there with Salman Bhatt, the left-hander. There are plenty of bowling options there for Pakistan. Shoaib Akhtar, of course, will be getting a bit of attention here. In the air, first boundary. Tendulkar gets it away this time. Same area, same result. Got that away, back with a square, should get two at least. Good commitment from Shoaib Tars there somewhere. He's got three in the end because he took him four attempts to pick it up once he stopped it. Pulled away. He would have heard that clearly enough. Oh, that's cheeky running. That's cheeky running, but has he got in? Inquiry. Tendulkar feels reasonably confident. Quick. It's Yunus Khan, and I think he's out. He's gone. Clearly gone. Sachin has got to go. Now listen to this ground. It's just a conversation now. There's people talking to one another. Why did he have to take such a cheeky single? 
punched that nicely. Should go all the way. Sign of a good batsman not to worry about the ball before. It's a great ball followed up by this shot by Saywag. On the offside, again, no margin for area. A little bit shorter, a little bit wider, and hit just forward a point for four. It's a good shot. Over mid on for four. Ryan Ove just dropping short. Luxman pouncing on that. And it was almost a straight pull shot. In the air, may have just got his fingertip. Davis Khan. But that's two fours in succession for BBS Luxman. That's 11 runs from that over. 10 overs gone. 50 for one. It's a good straight drive. That's four to say what. What a magnificent shot, straight down the ground, slightly on the onside. Bowler oh, just over pitching. Look at Sami here. Oh, about middle and leg, just over pitching. And Saywag hitting down the ground. That's a fantastic shot. More on the on the length than the line. Some players you'll find that are, are length players will just go after drive like that. The line players, if the ball's on the stumps, they tend to block it a little bit more. Oh, there's four more. Beautifully played. A proper cricket shot. Batting at number three can do wonders for Vivius Luxman. It's an absolute delight to watch. Very elegant right hand up. He goes straight to him, you're asking for trouble. Very, very good timer of the cricket ball. He's doing a great job for India. The important thing for Vivius Luxman is to carry on the good work. Here it is again. And he's got plenty of bats on it. It'll get there. It'll get there. It does. Great value for your shots here at the Eden Gardens. And stroke. Beautiful stroke. Third man late to get going. Too late, in fact. The confidence level very much on the higher side for Vivius Luxman and runs in the offside. Oh, talk about the sweep. He swept that way back into the stand. Well, a big one. The first six of the match. And Virinder Seba loves the off spinners. He's been subdued in this innings. Waited for the opportunity. And taking the bowler on, this is a great move, taking him on in the first over, not letting him settle down. This is a big ground. Now he gets an outside edge, frustration for Malik, more runs for Shivag, four of them. Already this is a big over. Doesn't have the strongest knees in the team, so... Big appeal, and the finger goes up. Shahid Afridi has struck for Pakistan. A well set and looking good. Vivius Lachman is walking back to the pavilion. Vital breakthrough for Pakistan. Just when they were staring at a total of over 300, Afridi has got that vital breakthrough. And this ball spun, I think. It seemed to even bounce a bit. A very good catch at the wicket. Great delivery. Just the right kind of speed for him to grip and spin away. So Vivius Lachman, I thought, played superbly for his 43. India, 111 for two. Schwebachter back in the attack. That should be four. It's gone very fine. Not such a great start when the first ball goes for four. Yes, this is the danger man, Shewag. He's looking ominous. I think a deliberate edge. He knew there were no slips. And he was just flashing at that ball, knowing that even if he got an edge, there were four runs for the taking with short speed. 
But I think Nzamam really did not have much of a choice the way Shewag was batting. This is such a good shot. Shot of the innings for me. Great shot. He just waited for it. It was a slow ball. And a great hit for six. Not many times this has happened to Shoaib Akhtar to be hit for a straight six. That's it. He's got his wicket. And that was a very, very useful wicket for Pakistan because Shewag was looking extremely dangerous. And full marks to Shai the Freebie with his uh, mixture of off spinners, leg spinners, flighted deliveries, faster ones. And he's given Pakistan this vital breakthrough. Mixed bag that did the trick. And in that uh, bag of his, there was this wicket taking ball. We're in the Sehwag also was trying to read Shahid Afridi in his own way. That's the second wicket for him. Tremendous performance by the leg spinner. Sehwag gets 53, India 124 for three. Giving the charge and going over the top. Picks up a boundary with the last ball and also brings up the 150. 153 for three. Come to the ball, two men underneath it. And he's gone. Shahid Afridi is taking the catch. And another big blow for the Indians. Chest tennis. When it looked as though Rahul Dravid and Saro Ganguly were putting together a good partnership, the Pakistanis have struck again. Just said that Razak was bowling too short for mine, but he outsmarted me. Another short ball. Dravid into the pull hook shot. Bottom of the bat went very high. I'm afraid he takes a well-controlled catch on the boundary line. At first I thought it was going to go for six. six. I think Razak did too. And just about ten yards short of the boundary line. Dravid very disappointed indeed. India 163 for four. It's a pretty steady light. Good timing, good stroke. Four runs. Just what India needed. And that's his favorite shot, the off drive, the big booming off drive of Yuvrat Singh. The ball comes on nicely to the bat. It's a good ball. There's nothing wrong at all with the ball. Has a good back lift. And he's a sweet timer of the cricket ball, Yuvrat Singh. A couple of shots like that. And you'll start seeing the best of this young, very talented batsman. Got a top edge. Straight over the keeper. Razak saw him coming, bounced him, still went to the boundary. Well, you've got to do something as a batsman to change the rhythm of the bowler. Abdul Razak has been consistent, gave him the charge. The bowler doing the right thing, dropping it short. And then uh, Kanguli just as a reaction, having got the ball, fortune favoring the more adventurous on this occasion and Ganguly getting four important runs moves into the 30s swept away cries of catch it but he's hit that really solidly goodness me that was one of the most effortless sixes I've seen I think and believe it or not I don't think he quite timed it as well as he would have liked it doesn't come to the meat of the bag in fact, it's the outer edge of the bat, and that's why the elevation is the strength and just the gift of hitting the ball so well that Yuvrat Singh has. It's getting through more runs for it. Eight runs for the first two balls from the off spinner. What wonderful timing! My goodness me! Brilliant. 
Merv Hughes has been saying right through the afternoon, margin for error on this pitch is minimum. This ball finishes on middle and leg. That's all it does. Not a huge mistake by the bowler. Just the artistry of Yuvraj Singh. Oh, there you go. It's even beaten the ball boy. That is raced to the boundary. What a way to finish the over. 2-10 for four. Well, he's got hold of that. Tremendous shot. The Indian captain shows his colours. Again, something out of nothing for India. Just a shade outside the off stump, premeditated, I'm sure, by the Indian captain. But what a pickup this is. It's not one of the biggest grounds in India, but that is, I tell you, a tremendous shot. That's glorious. That's gigantic. That's a six. He's on a roll. The crowd's loving it. He's playing a superb innings out there. 42 of 37 balls. This is his second six. Up and over. Good use of the bottom hand. And look at that bat swing. Magnificent. Stayed hit from the moment it left the bat. What a striker. It's Saurav Ganguly who's gone flat and over. Another six. This is magic from the left-handers. A skimmer from Saurav Ganguly. All in Zaman could do was to look at it. Now getting his front leg out of the way to get the bat swing. In fact, getting wider of the leg swing was the front leg so he can free his arms. And he is a fantastic striker of the cricket ball. Just about 8 to 10 feet in the air. But still clearing the straight boundary quite easily. Making room now. This one has gone in the air. Kamran Akmal takes a wonderful catch. Absolutely stunning effort from the keeper. Good breakthrough. Courtesy a fantastic catch by Kamran Akmal. He had to run back. Not easy when you're picking up a catch under lights and that too of a set batsman. First wicket for Shoy Bhakta. And Saurav Ganguly doing the right thing in going after the bowlers. Has played a very crucial innings in the end. A very, very well judged catch. Was in the air for a long time. And Shoy Bhakta had to wait quite a bit of time to pick up his first wicket. And he's a relieved man. And Ganguly has played his part. Good innings from the Indian skipper. 237 for 5. Edge and that ball will carry away to the boundary. Youthful edge. Yovraj Singh doesn't want to break the momentum here. He is on 48. It's a cruel game for the bowlers. Superb delivery from Shoy Bhakta at good pace. Well settled Yuvraj finding the outside edge. And it's raced away to the fence. The reaction there clearly suggests that he's frustrated. Slow one will give him his 50. And the crowd erupts in applause. Yes, he's played with a lot of passion and fire. And an important innings that he'll cherish for a long, long time. This is a big occasion, the BCCI, Platinum Jubilee match between India and Pakistan, and he came at the very crucial time, 16th won the international 50 and by far a most memorable one. That's gone away. Another boundary through that vacant slip cordon. More frustration for Pakistan. That boundary also raising India's 250. Well, it's the city of joy. And they've had that in abundance today. People from Kolkata. Love the cricket. They've had some great entertainment. A little fortunate that he would take it. Sixth boundary. 
you just cannot defend in that area. That's played fine, that's four. India piling up more misery for Pakistan. That's gone. Slicing the ball, the full toss. And that boundary brings more cheers here at the Eden Gardens. The Indians are loving it. And dropped. Shreya Bhakta has dropped. Yovrat Singh. That will certainly hurt Pakistan, even though just a single over left. But who knows if Yovraj goes. Full toss, crash through the offside. That's a glorious shot. That went flat. Simon Topol is not sure whether that has carried all the way or whether that's hit the fence on the back. Once again, not getting the Yorker right. But look at this. This is a very difficult shot indeed. He's a strong man. Bang! He's on a roll. Inside edge, four. Unlucky for Rana Naveed in Pakistan. Mighty lucky for the Indians. 290 now. Partnership, 53 of just 32 balls. Well, fortune favors the brave. And this has been a very brave effort so far from you, Brad Singh. Fortunate to get the inside edge, and the fine leg was inside the circle. Unfortunate for the bowler. But things start to go your way. It normally goes in your way all the time in this game. And gone, taken by Mohammed Sami, trying to chip the ball in the outfield. End of a tremendous innings. They'll all rise to his effort. Rana Naveed picks up Yovraj Singh. But not before Yovraj played that wonderful innings and has got Pakistan down. Well, finally rewarded for perseverance. Straightforward catch, but he'll get a standing ovation, Yuvraj Singh, Yunus Khan, the catcher. And a magnificent effort, could be a match-winning one, has come at a great stage. Yuvraj Singh got for 78, it's 290 for 6. Irfan Patan is at the non-striker's end, last ball of the innings. Mohamed Kaf plays it away in the deep, he'll look for two, he's running hard. Yusuf Yana gets there. And India get to 292. Massive effort. Tremendous innings from Yo Raj Singh. And in Zamam really will have to do a Yo Raj to win this one for Pakistan. Well, a great toss of win. No hesitation in batting first in Calcutta here at the Eden Gardens. And what entertainment this crowd has watched. Bit of disappointment for the Pakistan bowlers. But the batting effort from the Indians. Ten so after a fierce battle between the Pakistani bowlers and the Indian batsmen, the score was going here and there until a blistering cameo by Yuvraj Singh, uh, which was 78 off 62 balls, uh, pushed the Indian total to a mammoth 292. So, faced with a very daunting total to chase uh, of a 293 to win, out came the Pakistani openers in a very high-pressure situation. Uh, there was Salman Butt, who was still fairly new to the side, and in a surprise experiment, Yunus Khan was made to open, uh, which did not end up going so well, as you can see. But what was in store was a very thrilling chase. Have a look. Just me. This has been an electric evening so far, and will no doubt... I think become a little bit more fired up, especially if Pakistan can really challenge this uh, huge total, really. It is a big total set by India. They didn't look like as if they were going to get anywhere near 300 at one stage. They got to 293. Arman Butt, the man on picture, just averaging 28. Brand new career for him, just playing in his sixth match. A good strike rate of 70, but uh, overall, India have to be favourites as we sit here now. Would you not agree, Mr. Shivnarana Krishna? 
Certainly, yes. Uh, good evening, Jackers, and good evening to everybody. Yunus Khan is being tried as an opener here. A lot of experience, very good strike rate, but can he do the job opening the innings? Pakistan will look at a good start. They've got to remain positive. Very front, Patan coming back after an injury. Well, 46 wickets already for him. Economy on the higher side. Here we go. And that should be a wide. Yeah, it is. He's got that one through the covers. And he's timed it well enough to get to the boundary. I thought it might be, say, two, three at the most. Saraf Ganguly, having passed a fitness test, still couldn't catch it up. There's some runs. Four wides. In the air, caught slip. Khan gets the first wicket, and the Eden Gardens comes alive. Big breakthrough for the Indians. Yunus Khan set up the order, not working for the Pakistan team. And what a great delivery once again. He's much more comfortable bowling to the right hand as Zahir Khan, and the angle, natural angle, right of the stumps. And look at the bounce. Very good catch indeed by Virendra Seva, keeping his eyes on the ball at all times. It was flying to him, and jubilation for Zahir Khan. And the crowd with Eden Gardens are up. Yunus Khan gone for a duck. It's 15 for one. It's a very good shot. Short in length and in the first 15 overs. That's punched away nicely for four. And I can hear a ripple of applause there. Straight drive. That's four. He'll get the help from the ground. Bit too risky, I think. And that's another four. Unsuccessful uh, sliding attempt there by Sachin Tendulkar. And that's a second four in succession for Pakistan. This one obviously not el as elegant as the first drive. Hacked it away over mid-off. And even though Sachin Tendulkar tried his very best, the due factor didn't help him. It helped the ball to cross over the boundary line, didn't help Sachin Tendulkar to skid and stop the ball. Quite strange to see that the last two balls that were hit for fours, clear attempt by Irfan Patan not to really swing the ball. He was looking to break the seam and bowl the cutters. Once again, with provided that three fours in a row for Pakistan and Shoaib Malik. Pakistan in the game here. Nine was gone, 51 for one. He splashed hard. And that's going to be another four. The real rush of boundaries here from Pakistan. Just wide of the man. Catch it was the call. But it will raise away to the fence. Just drifting onto about leg stump there. Giving the right hander the room to hit onto the onside. Have a look at this in the air, but well wide of the man at mid wicket. That's smashed away. And in the gap as well, so the outfield has been quick, but that is great commitment from Virendra Seba. Absolutely fantastic. It's more like a dive into a swimming pool just to retrieve the ball and he saved a few runs for India. And it's feeling like this that it's going to win India the game, saving every little run they can. We'll see why he's here doing his best Superman impersonation, diving, flicking the ball back, and that saves one run. Very athletic and a great team team oriented effort by Sawai. 
unfortunate. But it's happened in the Indian innings. Four important runs for Pakistan. That will relieve a little bit of pressure for the Pakistan batsmen, but a few for Ashish Nehra. Ball skidding on, keeping a little bit low. Inside edge here. Goes past the off stump, past Dravid. And it wouldn't matter whether the fine leg was up or back then, that was always going to be four runs. But runs against your name, so as a bowler, you start to feel the pressure. Oh, beautifully struck. What a way to end the over for Pakistan. Boundary to finish the 14th. It's 76 for one. Gone over the top. And he's cleared it. He's cleared it. Magnificent hit by Shoaib Malik. The first six of the Pakistan innings coming in grand style. Shoaib Malik. The batsman that's going to use his feet a little bit more and take on the spin bowlers. Uh, being a senior partner, we see him advance down the wicket, hit over wide mid on towards mid wicket area, and he likes the look of that. Hit that very cleanly. It was a flatter ball, but picked up beautifully. And we have a look at that. Have a look at the reaction from Saywag. Played very late. The shot that's often played in this uh, innings and in the Indian innings as well. Ajit Agarka does well. Three more runs to Pakistan. Well, that would be wide and uh, would be four of them. No, the umpire reckons there was a bit of bad on it. Salman Butt is having a good look at the umpire. He's not going to complain. Well, I actually thought he, he might have uh, he swept it very fine. It hit the bottom edge. Yeah, it hit the bottom edge. Um, and I must say, Sanjay, this is the first time I've seen Salman. It seems quite impressive. Or did he hit it? I'm not sure. He has the big one. Placed to perfection and he got the distance as well. The second six of the Sehwag by Shoaib Malik. So he's repaying the compliment paid to him earlier. Yes, a great shot. I mean, he placed it exactly right. This is the second time he's hit ex the ball exactly in the same place. And really a much improved player playing county cricket. Now that's why I I've been saying for 20 years that if Pakistan could improve its own domestic cricket, we would produce these batsmen. Top edge. Let's see whether the deal is enough to slow the ball down. It doesn't. It goes to the rope. That's another four to Pakistan oh that's another buy I would imagine yeah wide four wide so this is turning out to be a great over for Pakistan which of course oh this is going to be out this is a wicket out of the blue for the Indians And what a time for the second wicket to come. Big smile on the face of Viran Sewa. He knows he's been quite fortunate to pick that one because the ball certainly de deserve a wicket. Well, here we go. It's a strange. The ball actually just kept low. It turned and kept low. And I don't really know what uh, Shoaib Malik was trying to do. He, looked, he actually played the one-handed shot. Malik gone for 61 and Pakistan 128 for 2. It has been a smashing innings from uh, the young left hand batsman. Salman Bhatt has been on fire in most of this knock. That is slashed hard. That will run away to the boundary. What a classic shot from Salman Bhatt. A little bit of width from Ashish Nehra. And he went hard at it. Found the gap, found the boundary. Well, we're talking about singles, but if he bats like this, he doesn't need those singles. Magnificent strike. Just a little bit of width. That was all the mistake that Ashish Nehra did. But look at him watching the ball onto the bat in some kind of discomfort. And 
coming off the bat, but found the sweetest spot and still racing away. Trying to hit the ball hard. He wants to escape that fielder at mid-off because mid-off is up in the circle. He's uh, definitely struggling. He's cramping up and uh, if it persists, it can easily damage your muscle. He was in a um, fair bit of pain when he was driving that last ball. Well, much fuller, which means he had to extend his front leg, his right leg, to the pitch of the ball. And the discomfort that he was having earlier has become even worse. And he's now contemplating whether he wants to go in, retired, hurt. And the Indians might just be happy with this. And Zamam is not a happy man, he's disappointed, Salman, but thinking, in fact, feeling that he cannot continue with his innings. A little high, a little high. Zahir Khan was convinced that uh, the impact was well within the stumps. In fact, four given, four leg buys. Straight onto his uh, helmet, I would imagine. Or on his grill, but there was a real uh, crashing sound when the ball hit the helmet. Not often do you see in Zimam. Being sort of found wanting for time when he's looking to play the pull shot. Oh, right on the chin. Wasn't too far away from stepping on his stumps either. And that's just nearer the big follow through after the bowlers bowled a decent ball. We have a look at that again. And the Inzaman just beaten for pace there. Just turned up for pace. And as you said, that's very unusual for Inzaman. Usually he has things under control and the ball's on him even before he thinks about getting through the shot. Well, that's something that Johanna does pretty well. One of the few batsmen in the world who look to hit the big shots from the crease without giving a charge. It's four good runs to Pakistan. Time would be feeling a little bit hard done by. He wasn't a bad ball. A little bit wider, maybe a little bit shorter. Giving the batsman the opportunity to free his arms and hit the ball straight and hit it straight he did. It's a fantastic shot. is an excellent over just that four from the over 183 for two job here running in a bowl Yusuf just giving himself a little bit of room to hit on the offside a bit of a juggle there by Raul Gravit but in the end grabbed the ball threw it up and near a very happy man and as I said at the end of last over it might be Yann doesn't have to bowl to him but Yusuf Yohana 18 of 25 balls face a strike rate of 72 and I think Pakistan just need a little bit more out of him Not a new batsman at the crease, Salman Butt will resume his innings which had come uh, to a temporary halt on 68 with cramps. He has come out without a runner, but Ashish Nehra has struck for India. Yusuf Yohana looking to give himself room to play on the offside and it's a good thing that the ball just rebounded pretty close to that left hand of Dravid. Dravid almost looked a little bit relieved and this bloke is missing it all. 
Oh, what a way to resume the innings. Starts off with a four of the first ball. Spoils the over, some 190 for three. Well, he's a good player, he's a world-class player in Zimam, but I think with this kind of a performance, 16 of 37, sooner than later, it will get to him. One on the chin earlier, the second one in the abdomen. This is very unusual. Just a little bit up and down. The last ball bounced. That one didn't bounce as much. He is almost through the shot, and that's got to hurt. One's got to say, that's got to hurt. Just gets through a little bit quicker. He's through his shot, and oh, the only thing lucky about that was that it wasn't six inches lower. And very close to what you call the solar plexus, where it can really hurt. He's attempting to play the pull shot, but the speed variation, more so the doing of Irfan Patan than the pitch, is creating the problems here for Inzamam. He's gone over that fielder inside the circle. This should be four. And Inzamam has hit his first boundary. Come back on the bowl spin and he's almost bowled that seam up have a look at this seam up just a little bit short a little bit leg side and fortunate for Inzman just getting over the man at short fine leg and a little bit wide VVS Luxman will not get there the second four of the over just not sure the tactics of India here. I'd be taking the pace off the ball to butt. He just looked very uncomfortable. He's to spin now. Uh, off spin, darted in, little bit of width. As we've said on, on this wicket, the margin for error is very slight. Just cutting the ball fine. Comes the big lunge. And the booming straight drive. That's for to Inzamam. Somewhat expected this approach in this over. Attempted the ochre, taken on the full, and it's gone quickly wide of third man for four. These are turning out to be excellent overs for Pakistan. 25 of the last two, seven runs of this over. There it goes again. It slips out of his hands. It's been pummeled through the covers. Bad start to the over. Imzumam down to third man, and that takes him through to his 73rd one-day international half-century to go with 10 centuries. That's four. That is four. And well done, Salman Bhatt, for getting out of the way. Almost knocked him over. Imzumam will hack, thrust that ball extremely hard. What a hit. What a player. He really hit that one with immense power. And Salman but had, what, half of a second really to get out away from the line of that shot. Extremely well done. Smashed away through extra cover. That's four. Pakistan are on their way here. 262 for three. Maybe he won't. That's raced away to the boundary and he moves to 99. It has been Salman back today, all the way. He's not happy, Saurav Ganguly. Zahir Khan had already bowled one bouncer. This one was pretty needless. Fished it away from uh, outside the off stump and middle it and hit it in front of mid-wicket. So he's obviously uh, timing the ball really well, sighting the ball even better. Oh, it was there for him, just to run down to third man, wasn't it? Well played, young man. Well played. He's limping now. He went down after he got it down there, but he doesn't feel anything other than the fact that this is a night he will never ever forget very well played
bruised and battered, but he didn't give it up. Showed great guts, great temperament, and what an innings. Playing in front of a massive crowd of over 70,000 people. And he has put Pakistan in a very strong position here. Way! I'll finish that sentence in a minute. There it goes. Way up into the stand. Stamping his authority now on the Indians as in Zamamulak. He wants to finish it off in a flurry. What a massive shot. He is a powerful bloke. And we know why. What a shot. Shot. What a good shot. But there's a man back. He's caught it. Will this make a difference? He looked for a moment as if he'd picked his spot and try to finish it in this over rather than let it get tight. But a good catch by Verinda Sivag. And can there be a twist in the tail? This catch gives hope to the crowd here. Absolutely brilliant effort. It must have been difficult to sight the ball. Remember, there is smog out there. And vision has not been good. But he kept his cool, but what a knock from Inzamam Haq. Match winning inning, 75. He scored. Pakistan, 284 for four. single and they'll get another and maybe even another yeah that's all to do with the Jew as well that misfield that's it that's the winning hit good fielding but it's not enough to stop Pakistan going through to victory and well played Salman Butt an outstanding innings good sportsmanship from the Indians go over to him straight away well, what a night it's been for him and what a night it's been it really has I thought this game would go right to the wire 292 293 to win seemed pretty good but I think maybe Seraf Ganguly Ramis didn't estimate how difficult it was going to be with a wet ball. Yes, we can now safely say that uh, it wasn't a great decision. Even though I thought 292 on the board, you don't often lose when you've got 292 on the board, even on a good track, even when the conditions vary in the second half. But I think Pakistan have played quite brilliantly. Absolutely a stunning game in the end to get a result in the 49th over Speaks of how well the two teams Contested this this particular tie and Pakistan prevailed with after a very uh, Sparkling century by Salman Butt in very tough conditions uh, this match obviously cemented his place in the team and uh, Caused his stardom to rise uh, Salman Butt had the makings of a great uh, left-handed player are probably our best left-handed opener since Said Anwar. It's very unfortunate what ended up happening to his career because of the decisions he made. It was a big loss for Pakistan indeed uh, with what happened to his career along with uh, Muhammad Asif and Muhammad Amr which unfortunately take away the glamour and uh, happy memories of games such as this one uh, from Pakistan cricket history uh, which were very exciting and uh, fun to watch. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's match. Uh, glad I was able to provide full highlights for this one. Please tune in next time to see more cricket highlights. Again, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all again. See you next time. Bye.